show me Libra and the person that they're dealing with, the feelings that this person would like to express. Expression from Libra's person. Let me do another hand shuffle here. Expression from Libra's person. Give me a little second here. How are you doing, Libra, today? A little bit kind of drained and tired myself, but we're still pushing on. If you'd like to see today's Sagittarius, Aries, and Aquarius, have a video. So you can cross-watch them if you're dealing with them as a love partner. They do have signs and signals within their reading, of course. So you can peek and see if you guys have the same thing. I do encourage cross-watching because I'm a little bit of a curious kitten. So I do um, I do embrace that on the channel. I think it's fun to cross-watch and it's just humorous. So <laughs> let's uh, get the cards off for you quickly. Show me the energy between Libra and their person. We're also going to shuffle light seers as well. Just give it a quick go. Show me Libra. Libra's energy, sun, moon, rising, sun, moon, rising. Okay, so my clarifiers are ready for Libra. One more. Okay, Libra is ready. Okay, it's a little finicky, but it's ready. Okay, so let's look at your cards here. Six of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, and we also have the Ace of Wands, one more, and the world. Beautiful energy. So they know that something closed out between the two of you. Um, whether this was an argument, a disagreement, or a mincing of words, they know that there was an end, and so do you. So you have signals of that world. And when the world card comes out, it's major arcana for something to be over with. It's a confirmation of sorts. It's the biggest confirmation card for me. So with that being said, you've come to a realization in your relationship pattern that cooperation and communication are some of the highest forms of something that are in tandem that you have to do with somebody else. Uh, with this world card, and as you can see, there's an angel, there's divine guidance, and there's something here that's pushed from your angels that is differing from other times where you had an awakening. Some of you are on your second or third awakening too, okay? So I don't know, and I feel from this card, this person is not sure whether this is a road you want to go down. And they're thinking of you, Libra. So they don't know if this is something that you want to do. Okay, the world here. The emotion from this person is sadness. There is some drought of regret. There are tears that have been shed here. And it's been a difficult road. The world can also signify a romance that has seen many moons and many suns and experienced different winds as well. So Queen of Cups, I shuffled many times and the energy came back out many, many times. The Queen of Cups is someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. There's someone who walks around not afraid to give the shirt off their back to somebody. And there's someone who's emotionally intelligent, the Queen of Cups, as well as any sign in the Zodiac can be this. Anybody can be the Queen of Cups. So this person has high emotion for you. I would say on a scale from one out of 10, this person feels a 15. It's very high up there. Whether you believe it or not today, Libra, this person still loves you a lot. Uh, depending on the memories here, the words, um, maybe if some of you shared family time, family time is important. There's a mutual understanding and they're coming to that. It's like you are, you are not alone anymore. This person's realizing uh, what you did for them. Okay, believe it. Because even if they're not admitting it to you, they feel it. We see the six of wands. I believe one of you has walked into success, either a work success or there's a family success here that happened. I think some things have changed on both sides. You might not be the same people from before and that could very much be a worry. So I feel like when I touch the card, it's like, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And as they see this six of wands, I move to a little emotion. They're very proud of the success that you've drawn to yourself, whether it's energetically, um, whether it's in your, standing in your own power, this person sees that and they're very drawn. Even if this is coming from an old situation, they're still very drawn to you, okay? Um, maybe it's your emotional intelligence that's being admired at this time, or maybe it's just your strength period as a person. You keep redefining and re-evolutionizing yourself. Um, and I see that here. Six of Wands, the world, that's the type of energy, Okay. So there could be some form of travel for some of you, like I feel like some form of distance, um, or this can be a long distance romance because the world is here. 
So let's get a little bit more of their feelings for you. Are they angry at this current time at Libra? What do they want to say? Is there anger here? What's being harbored in the heart? Thank you, Spirit. We have children. This situation could involve a child, could have involved a child or children, or there was children coming between you two, something like that. Um, there could have been a pregnancy here, or there could have been something where both of you could not survive um, with distractions. Like sometimes if I see this card, there's like a lot of movement in the relationship or a lot of factors. So it says your love life is being affected by that of which. Okay. Um, I feel like for some of you too, this person had kids. So you could have joined in a romance where you were the stepmom or stepfather, Libra. So love yourself first. Okay. This is coming into focus. They see that you love yourself first. They see that you're putting yourself first. I'm hearing like it could come off selfish at times. They think you're being selfish, but you just prioritized yourself because you weren't being prioritized in the relationship. You didn't come as number one. Okay, they had many things that were number one. Let's get more here. What else is this person thinking? Let's get the top three cards. What else was this person thinking? Thank you, Spirit. Unrequited love. This was true love. And the pa this was a past life relationship. So they actually saw you as a common partner, someone who could grow and build with them and build an empire. And they had dreams here. But something, you know... There's a lot of factors still that this person's thinking of and whether they can go around it again. Um, they could feel tired. They could feel that they can't give to you. So it's all in what you deserve, right? It's all what you feel you deserve and what you've worked for. And some of you Libras already know that. So we have unrequited love and that's here. They know that it's unrequited and it hasn't been fulfilled. They know. That's why there's a lot of six of cups in your reading, okay? They do see that you've had a glow up six of wands is like my glow up card they are very proud of you and they think of you it kind of got to me they think of you i do think that songs visit this person i don't know like i'm feeling a libra that's been going through this i'm like getting the energy of a libra female possibly who's going through unrequited love and i actually feel your tears it's coming in very strong there's somebody here who wants to put you first but they feel like it's too late they miss the boat and they miss the train. And even if they come back now, they're very sorry, but time has passed both of you. So this might remain a uh, past life or unrequited. Okay. Heavy energy I felt from this person. I do feel sorry, natures. I do feel somebody wants to apologize, but the words aren't being drawn out. Okay. This could be the one is the highest message. This could be the one. So this is the deal. They still view you as someone that's deserving. They still would like to give. The issue here is coming to talk to you and that time has surpassed both of you. They're afraid you've met somebody new and they're afraid that this person has caught your eye. Okay, so I do wanna say that here very vocally. Um, they will always have a, a place for you in their heart, Libra, today. Uh, I do see unrequited love is like the card I keep staring down at. This is a very, very important card today, unrequited love and other distractions that came into the relationship. This person could be listening to friends at this time. They could be getting advice, but the advice isn't sound. I feel like these friends aren't offering comfort and solace. So this could be the one. They still view you that way. Um, actions are up in the air at this time. So I kind of feel like, let's, let me get an action card. Clarify, this could be the one. What's the action from this person? Thank you, spirit. The hermit. Yeah, I told you the words aren't being drawn out. Nine of wands too is here. Show me the magician for this could be the one. Is this person manifesting Libra back? Show me this could be the one. And I really wanted to get some of you guys' you guys answers, excuse me, because I felt yesterday that there was a high resonance with the non-communication reading. High resonance. Four of Wands and the King of Cups. They do want to reunite. They could be a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio. They do want to reunite. And Four of Wands is a gathering card. This is going to come at a much later date. You might not see them until March or April, Libra. Um, prepare for your Valentines too. This person might not be back by then. Okay. They might not show face. I'm feeling that from the King of Cups. 
they are too disappointed at this time. Too disappointed. Too don't want to go back in clarifying the waiting. We have the Queen of Cups here and we have the Two of Wands. This person is going to wait, 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 wait until their emotions have dried into a prune is what I hear. The emotions have to dry up, okay? Are they looking at other options? Let's see. Are there other options here for this person? Are they exploring elsewhere besides the fine-ass Libra? Is there other people that this person is looking at? Thank you, Spirit. The Four of Cups. They're sad. No. They're sad about this. I feel like people are trying to talk to them, but they're still in Four of Cups. We detected that last Monday, right? In our reading. And we also have the King of Pentacles here. This person is just working on their financial stability, their job, their coin. They're not moving, okay? But I feel like people are trying your person. Um, but it doesn't look like they're budging or they've moved on from you, Libra, from my cards. Thank you for watching today. I hope this brought you peace. I hope this brought you tranquility and love. Until next time.